Next up, we have linebacker Josiah Trotter. Questions for Josiah? Great. So, jo Josiah, um, defense has, has had some better moments lately. Can, can you explain why? What, what, are, what are you guys doing better now than, than maybe you weren't earlier in the year? Uh, just, you know, just coming together, you know, just making, you know, the game plan more simpler. You know, guys could really just play fast. Uh, and just like, really just getting a better job of just communicating, uh, getting some of those busts out of there and just those easy plays that some of the times offense can get. But just, you know, getting a better job communicating across the board. Do you feel like you've gotten better, you know, individually as well? Yeah, yeah. Over the over the season, a lot of stuff to continue to get better at and work on. A lot of things, of course, clean up. Um, never play a perfect game, but still a lot of things I want to continue to get better at and work on throughout the week. Oh yeah, yeah. I watched I watched at least a good amount of game before it got kinda late and I just went to bed when I knew kinda we were gonna win, but yeah. How do you see that defense? I mean, what goes through your mind? I mean, so that's uh, maybe the best best other than the Steelers. Yeah, yeah, that's probably one of the best defenses I watched for the Eagles for a long time. Maybe since when we went to the Super Bowl, but I think this defense might be better than than that defense that year, honestly, especially with the amount of players that we have compared to that Super Bowl era uh, when we went to the Super Bowl. But I mean, that's, we were a really good defense with uh, Fangio as a DC. What are some of the special issues that tempo teams give defenses when, when you got when you know the teams like you're going to get like mm -hmm. and, and the team's going to run 90 plays on? You yeah. Yeah, the biggest issue is really just the communication part. You know, when you're trying to go tempo, you're trying to get it across the board where everyone's on the same page. And, you know, if you can't get that part across where you're communicating, that can hurt you really bad where either uh, you're either getting a blown coverage uh, or maybe a misfit in a run gap they're trying to run the ball. So the biggest thing is, you know, when the team's going tempo, just getting a call in, making a call, and everybody knowing, getting set, and getting ready to play. Is there a fatigue aspect to it, or is it just kind of like, you know what, they're, you, they're running high octane just like, you're trying to stop the high acting, so everybody's going to get blown up. No, nah, yeah, I mean, there, there can be a fatigue issue in there, too, especially if it's a long drive, those 17 play drives, whatever the case can be. Um, but the biggest thing is, you know, especially in practice this week, us getting lined up fast, running to the ball, just running around and just making sure we're just getting ourselves ready, ready for this game and getting in shape. Did you do anything different preparation-wise or conditioning-wise for a game like this because you're expecting maybe more plays, crazy type of game? No, not really. I mean, I guess maybe the tempo, practice more, practicing more of that tempo uh, within the offense. But I mean, really just running to the ball. I mean, something we do every week and try to focus on and just make sure you're running to the ball, keeping a game pace. Uh, I feel like when you do that, I mean, you're going to be in shape no matter what. Asking everybody this, so favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, I'm more, I'm more of a mac and cheese type of person. I go, I go straight to the sides. Yeah. I'm more of mac and cheese. I think that's a mandatory. Mac and cheese not stuffing as much? No, no, no. <laughs> You're the third guy to say that. <laughs> yeah, he's come. Garrett liked it too. But Garrett had a, you know, a professional athlete father. Obviously, mm -hmm. you did as well. I don't know. Maybe there's somebody else on the team. I can't think of anybody. But is it different growing up in that kind of household that you guys had than it's all you knew, so maybe you didn't know any different, but is that a different lifestyle coming up? Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, growing up, we have a father in the household who uh, especially played on that level and, you know, had a great career out of it and played a long time. Of course, uh, playing the sport is going to be a lot more different, uh, a lot more. You got a target on your back at all times, especially just growing up, playing from Little League all the way up through high school. Oh, you got a target on your back, and you just, you know, got to outwork and, you know, put the work in and, you know, let your ability show on the field um, and really just... You know, when we're younger, we just look at him as dad. Uh, but you just get older, you know, you start to realize and everything like that. So, but you know, when we're younger, you just see him as dad, you know, kind of just, you know, being your younger self um, as a kid. But, you know, as you grow older, you start to realize, and it's great to be able to have that, you know, be able to have that father figure in life, especially too, that played in the NFL, to be able to give you key points, how to watch film, how to just prepare, and, you know, how to just carry yourself as an athlete, as a man, and then especially just as a football player. Did you go to him? I know you do regularly, but did you go to him for advice in particular this year? The defense obviously was under a microscope. There mm -hmm. were some ups and downs, defensive coordinator change, things like that. Did he say anything to you that stood out? Anything that you want to share about that tutelage throughout a roller coaster year as a team? Nah, no. Nah, I mean, we when we talk, we just really just talk about ball and everything like that. I mean, he'll just give me key points and stuff to help me apart for my game and everything like that. Um, things I need to continue to work on and get better at and just focus on throughout the week. But everything with that part, you know, he just leaves that to the coaches and everything like that. Growing up, you know, growing up, you know 
a lot of a lot of kids when their dad's trying to tell them what they got to do, they kind of roll their eyes like, "Okay, dad, you you can't really roll your eyes mm. at, at, mm. at at dad when he's trying to." What's that? What was that like? Just knowing that that it, that okay, he's going to give me some pointers and he's pretty good. So I'm, there's no mm. like eye rolling. It's like oh, I'm going to listen to everything he's got to say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even even with me, uh, all my siblings, I know. You know, kind of sometimes you just see him as dad, and sometimes it can get repetitive, and it's like, oh man, like <laughs> same thing, you know. But you get to a point, especially where I'm at, where you know he's seen it all, done it all. I mean, of course, the game has changed from when he's played, so there's some things that he's he's learning now within like certain schemes of offense now. But I mean, as far as playing the run and a lot of that part, I mean, uh, the knowledge he has, I mean, all you can do is just sit back and listen, and just kind of just use it to grow. Because at the end of the day, I'm not perfect, so I know whatever he has to tell me is only going to help me get better and improve. And that's at the end of the day, that's I'm trying to get to where he was and better. And I'm sure, like when 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 if he's saying the same thing more than once, there's probably instead of like ah oh, here we go again. Mm-hmm. Now in your career, you're probably like oh if he's saying this multiple times. He prob- there's a point to this. I should probably mm-hmm. really listen. Has, it, has right. it gotten to that point like where you come to the realization of if he keeps pointing this out, I should probably, you know, listen and apply it. Yeah, yeah, especially like when it maybe might come to like a technique, some, something as far as like technique or a technique issue or something like that. But, yeah, it gets to a point where it's like, you know, got to really, you know, listen and uh, just over these – past fall camp and spring ball just really helping me and throughout the season just kind of just helping me and especially with the little stuff. Is it different than the other high tempo teams you all have faced this year? Say that again. Texas Tech's tempo on offense. Is it uh-huh. different than the other high tempo teams you all have played? I would say so. Um, like a couple years back when we went to uh, Texas Tech and even last year, uh, they were really high tempo. Of course, I didn't play against those teams, but listen to a lot of players, their tempo was a lot different from a lot of teams that were going to play. So I couldn't really tell you exactly how it was going to be just because I didn't play them yet uh, since I wasn't really here or playing last year. But c- talking to a lot of guys and coaches, the tempo that they bring is going to be a lot faster than what we're compared to. So I would say, say yeah. Yes, last year, what was this year like to you to get back into it and and, I mean, did you have some doubts? And you, know, it had, you, had to feel, you had to feel like you got out of jail. Say again? After last year, uh-huh. this year I had to feel like getting out of jail and getting uh-huh. back on the field and, 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 and mixing it up. What did it mean to you? Yeah, it meant a lot, you know, especially missing the whole year last year and everything that happened last year. But it was great, you know, to finally like, get out there and finally play my first college game, make my first tackle and everything. And just as the season goes along and, you know, at the same time, my body's getting used to it because, you know, being a year off of football and then just kind of lifting, you know, your body's not used to, you know, hitting and running around a lot of that, especially now with 10, 11 weeks in. But, you know, getting used to that. But, you know, I'm just, you know, happy and blessed just to be out there, you know, be healthy right now. Obviously, mm-hmm. it's one thing to watch it on film. It's another thing mm-hmm. to go out there and do it. Yeah, I think it was all what I kind of expected to be. Uh, I know you just kind of just focus on, you know, your 111th and what you have to do. Um, and, yeah, it was really just all I expected kind of to be. Okay, thank you very much.